Hello everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, win streak minus two. I'm going to try and get that magnitude of that number as high as possible. However, the, the sign of that number may remain a negative. We have rolled Isaac, which is interesting. Apparently, even though I have played this game for literally 500 hours now, I still can't do a fairly simple Mega Satan Ipecac run without dying. That's okay, I feel very slow. I think that's one of the things I dislike about Isaac. I don't know, Isaac's an okay character, it's a very all round character, much like um, Mario, we've been through this. But it's so slow. I feel like a speed upgrade early on as Isaac in Isaac is a very valuable thing. Now, I did take Samson's ball and chain, Samson's chain, which I could have re-rolled, and I'm aware that I could have re-rolled it, and it's not that great an item, so maybe you're thinking, why didn't you re-roll it? Good question. I'm glad you asked, young Padawan. Uh, help. Mostly it's because at this stage uh, of this game, I really hate those enemies, by the way. Being able to crack open any rocks, it's like being able to fly, it's like having infinite bombs. Uh, it's going to be extremely valuable. Now, it may take us a little bit of min-maxing to actually successfully break said box, uh, rocks, or indeed pots. But I think it's going to be very useful early on to have the ball and chain here. Plus, don't forget, it does um, block shots. So we can use it as a sort of dry baby. See there, it's paid for itself. It's like dry baby or farting baby without any of the advantages besides the fact that it'll stop the shots. So I'm trying to break these pots on the off chance that they may contain the um, quarter. A bit of money early on is also very, extremely very useful. But it was not to be. We could break these pots too. Sure, why not? Uh, I'm not too bothered about boss rush. I'm just trying to get as much of an advantage as I can at the start of this game because I'd like to win once in a while. Of course, don't forget we cannot take a deal with the devil. Mayn't. It's against our own rules. We must find, unless it's going to be a um, another what's name run, of course. Another chaos run, which would be nice, but can't count on it. Come on now. I know you can do it. This is really annoying. We don't really have the speed necessary. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we got some cash out of it and our HP back. So, um, there's no point re-rolling deals with the devil. Because we're not going to take them, even if we do re-roll them. But, there is point re-rolling maybe deals with the angel in future. So, with our ball and chain, we can certainly um, make good use of tinted rocks. Even if it is a bit of a laborious, laborious process. <laughs> to break them. Um, when you do something other than that, though, like put bombs down and blow yourself up, like you always do. Um, being able to reroll deals with the angel is great because deals with the angel are often shit. Although um, having, uh, as previously mentioned in Afterbirth, what are you supposed to teleport after you put a bomb down? Into the bomb, usually. No. Um, there are more angel room items that are okay. Not nearly as many as there are Devil Room items. A Tears upgrade is extremely good. Uh, so we need to not take Red Heart damage until we find Spirit Heart. We need to not take Red Heart damage. Get our deal with the Devil. Ignore our deal with the Devil. I think the trick to these enemies is to just actually successfully kill them. Before they become a, a logistical issue in the first place. We probably can't go to that boss trap room, so I'm not going to try. Yet, um, we can't sell our soul to the, our hearts to deal with the devil anyway because we need to not have devil precedent. But <sighs> tempting, boss flesh. Let me reroll it. Man, you make it just as bad. Um, we will. What well, we've got? A, we've got a thingy, haven't we? So, come on. Good. Um, we will take our battery charge and. Ooh, that was interesting. We roll it. More money, almost making it worth going to the shop. We do have one key that will allow us to do that. If we take this now, we basically min-max perfectly, which is interesting because normally I completely fail to min-max. Remotely correctly. Uh, yes. Seraphim is pretty good. It follows us and it shoots for us. There's maybe a secret room. It is not. I'm wondering if it could actually be not a secret room. Never actually tested this theorem. I believe Seraphim has... Uh, it's basically got the dead dove effect. It's got oh god, 
quick quick question, Max. It's got um spectral and homing tears, but they don't come out very often, so. Then Seraphim doesn't show up very often. Unfortunately, it's not one of the ones we need. Uh, I'm not too interested in this, but maybe we can do that. Tears down! Tears down. Well. Well. It's not actually as bad a tears down as the tears upgrade that we got was good. So we still have a higher rate of fire. We're doing okay. And um, we have quite a good chance to get our reroll ready. There's also another room that is locked. Which means we could have a library. Which means we could be able to reroll until the library starts giving us... Um, uh, not books. Interesting. So that works, does it? Pretty sure I haven't taken damage yet, have I? Not sure. <laughs> A bit paranoid now. Come on now. Just want the, uh, the stuff. Thank you. Gonna not take this Eternal Heart just yet. If we get hit, it would be bad. But if we get hit having picked up an Eternal Heart... Man, this is laborious. The lovers. Be careful. Keep the death card for now. I'm gonna see what this one is. This is probably the shop. Hopefully we can get a coin is is um which means the other one is a library quite likely we will take the spirit heart because i'm slightly perturbed by our chances because i'm playing so as you can no doubt imagine we will take this key if we can get it because that will allow us to get to the other thing which could be a library i love how the rocks change shape when you hit them obviously it's to do with uh tiling of these textures but i like to think that it is part of the magic of rocks and there is another tinted rock. There's a tinted rock here, which could be another spirit heart for us. Is and a bomb. So we have enough bombs now that maybe stop being quite so annoying with Samson's chain. Oh, I've managed to use it correctly. Very nice. Seraphim is just going to be a little bit of a damage upgrade for us that basically can't miss. Probably should not have taken that. Because uh, we could have re-rolled it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, we will use this straight away. And I will not take... Yeah, we'll use it. Um, Curse of the Tower, but I will re-roll it. To we can sack Dagger for free. We didn't even spend HP on that. Now, that is really, really good. And if you're not fully familiar with the game, um, I hope that occasionally people turn up to my channel unfamiliar with games. Um, because we're trying to get Angel Rooms, obviously they don't want to spend any money, uh, any HP on a deal with the Devil, because if you do that, you are guaranteed to have deals with the Devil in the future, and you never actually get the Angel Room that you are pining for so much. This is probably a library. Yes. And it has a battery charge in it. Oh, you shouldn't have. The Bible could be good for us on this floor, but I don't really care to try. We'll pick these up and put them down. Now we have a chance. I think this means we have a better chance of getting a library again in the future. So we'll go to our exit. Leave this floor. Far behind. I want to leave you far behind. Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to. Um... I was explaining that since we have taken not the deal with the devil, we haven't paid red hearts for it, but we still got some awesome items anyway thanks to red chests. I'm actually going to do this, apparently. Um, we are now at a great advantage because Sack Dagger is amazing. It's basically what we needed on the last run to make Unicorn Stump worth anything at all, basically. You see how much damage it's done to pin. Boom! Straight out. Uh... We still have a chance of getting angel runes as a result. We're going to have another HP on the next floor as well, so when you're not spending HP on the devil, you do tend to stack it up, which should be a bit like, obvious. You're not losing it in any way, but there are ways of still taking that. You can find Abaddon maybe somewhere. I don't know. I'm sure there are ways of losing it. Nine lives could turn up in a red chest or something. But as it stands, we are very good on HP, but we don't really want anything that would benefit from us not having HP, like, like Horror Babylon, for example. That being said, those are all things we tend to have to spend HP on anyway, so I think we're in the clear. And with our uh, rerolls available, we'll take Alges for now. We should probably use Death, but I don't really care. Um, this would have been a good room to use Death on. That's probably going to explode, knowing my luck. That is an explodey one. Yes, knowing my luck, which is that... Ah, I knew that was it. I was thinking, this is the one that's actually question marks, right? White and yellow or green? It was. Oh, I've been here. That's not where I want to be. Beverly Hills. 
that's where I want to be. Right, we're on, we're doing well. We will fight the boss straight away because that gives us the greatest advantage. Ooh, another devil item guaranteed from the Fallen here. The Fallen always drops a devil item, which is the nail, which we will use to get the spirit heart. And then we'll re-roll it to get Demon Baby. Demon Baby is okay. It's another familiar that's going to do damage for us, which is good because... Oh, that was rubbish. Our uh, actual damage is... Yeah, it basically has yet to be augmented in any respect. Our DPS has been augmented, but then it was sort of de-augmented slightly by the Tears Down Grey Pill. Ugh. This very comfortable chair. What? <laughs> Do not want. That was uh, really bad damage. That's what happens when you try and use Sack Dagger to do all your damage instead of what is correct, which is none of your damage. That was just me not paying attention. Right, focus on the game. We need to just carry on as we are, actually. We're in a really good position because having got Sack Dagger for free, we're still going to get our Angel Runes if they ever spawn ever again. We have an extra HP thanks to a random Eternal Heart just on the ground. We've got an Algis Rune, which, well, we can just use right here if we so choose. I probably shall, because this is exactly what you'd use an Algis Rune for, you know, at the best of times. Anyway, this is going to be like 40 seconds worth of play on this. There's going to be plenty of money, which means we definitely want to go to the shop. Uh, and we have a fairly good chance that a library will show up. Now, this doesn't really, that doesn't stop us taking damage, no, but we can re-roll this if we choose to. Which I do. If we need, if we don't need the rerolls for other stuff, we've already seen the boss and that there's no angel room. Oh, he shot me. He was just going far enough past when he died to give me a bad time. Go in here. I don't really care for that. Uh, yeah, I quite like tractor beam. It's, it's interesting. It doesn't necessarily change the way you play that much, but it does mean that you can do some sort of nice maneuver with the. Uh, with changing the direction of tears when enemies are least expecting it. I mean, it's 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 not an A tier item. It's not a brimstone. It's not a cricket's head or anything like that. It doesn't vastly affect our the way we play the game. I suppose is the point there. I don't really want to spend three uh, three coins on a heart, even if we do need it. We'll keep going. We'll come back and re-roll this um, IV bag, see what we get out of it. I don't know what it can re-roll into. I'm assuming item room pool. Um, but basically, we're just going to do one more... Ah, oh, that's bad damage. One more room. And get our charge. And then we've got two charges available to us on the floor because there's this battery over here. Maybe we can get something decent. Uh, maybe we can get out of this floor before we turn old and grey. Tractor beam is... I actually quite like sticky bombs, so I'm going to take them. And it gives us five bombs. Perfect. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Since you asked. Secret room. No. Secret room. Secret room. Spiders. Another battery charge. There's nothing left to reroll, which is a shame. Apart from the shop, but I'm not going all the way back. Oh, that's a chest there. Didn't even notice. I heard the noise. I went, that's a strange noise. I recognised it. I did, I did. So we'll see if we can find the super secret room. It may contain um, itemry. It's not here. You've, you've moved the rooms around, you bugger. We'll take our full charge to the next floor. Hopefully we can find something to re-roll quickly because I like re-rolling things. Still got our death card. Um, I mean, it's a pretty strong card in the general case. So I'm going to try and hold on to it for now. Yeah, let's use it. <laughs> Two of diamonds is probably stronger. It can really help us out um, with a shop-like situation. By which I mean a shop. That was an easy room thanks to the death card. Uh, yeah, we can collect as many coins as we can. Two of diamonds just before we buy something. We can buy even more things. Possibly spirit hearts. Try not to crush any mushrooms. Because you've already been doing that and it's always turned out bad for you. It's not always turned out bad for you, but it's such a risk. Uh, this is very tempting to use Sack Dagger on. But it always seems to turn and walk into me when I'm trying to sort of strafe it with Sack Dagger. So maybe I should avoid that particular tactic. As, sort of a, as, a, as a rule. 
I like being able to control the tears slightly more easily. It means you don't have to... You can't bank the shots, which is a pretty strong, like, pro strat banking shots around corners. You can't do that when you've got the tractor beam, but you can sort of... You can sort of Tetris them in, if you know what I mean. Uh, yes. Two of diamonds. I do like Mom's key. We get two keys from it. Uh, now all our chests are going to be super good, so we're going to be really trying to open those chests. Although they're only going to be super good in terms of consumables. Consumable. Double. Gemini and a. Oh, I took damage! So if you take damage, you're very unlikely to get the um, devil or angel door to open, which is a shame. So we're going to find the item room. And wish that we didn't have Sack Dagger as our primary damage dealer because it is causing us grief. I feel slightly faster. Because I just picked up the speedball, which makes us faster. But it's not a secret room. So I was wrong to keep trying with them. Item room could be down here, so let's not go all the way back if we don't have to. It is down here, so I'm glad I checked. It could be a library. We're probably not going to make boss rush. That's interesting. Oh! Ha 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 ha! Right. This is a win now. We're not doing hush. But, I mean, what did I say at the start of this? It would be great to have Unicorn Stump. And we do. So I'm giving up the D6, which could have been great for Angel Rooms. But this is going to get us through basically every single room for free. See? Sorted. Pill. Perks. Perks. That's going to give us half damage on whichever room we choose to use it on. Pretty sure we can't actually reach these enemies with the, uh... These enemies are really annoying, actually, it turns out. I don't think we can reach them with Sack Dagger, so... I actually can't... Get much... Oh, is that okay? Can't really get much use out of Unicorn Horn Stump on that room. But that's okay. We've moved on. I have to, uh... Deal with this... Okay, not all rooms are going to be free. But any room that is even slightly heinous... Any room where we can reach the enemies is over. Can't reroll it, might as well take it. Sack of pennies, not really helpful at this stage. We've only got two shops left. And we've got more than enough money to basically buy them out in their entirety. This room also can suck my balls because it is over. Good job. Secret room. No. We've got enough. Oh, we don't have enough bombs because we switched them. Bombs are key, will do that to you. Dead. Come back. Thank you. Not quite the coup that I was expecting it to be, but we did make it work. The problem with an orbital is it has this sort of habit of orbiting. Which means you have to sort of program yourself in the right direction. Not quite getting it right. But the floors are ending nice and the rooms are ending nice and quickly and we're not taking damage, that's the important thing. Because the Unicorn Stump can just avoid damage if that's really uh, what you need to happen. Which is what I need to happen, because I need to get this Angel Room open. I think we can afford to use it here too. This is probably a secret room. Please orbit in the correct direction. I'll be helpful. It is Burn. -ber. We try to use the Burn -ber without accidentally crushing the mushrooms next to our own faces. Magic must would be tremendous. It's not perks. I thought that was perks. But it wasn't. All these pills have been really bad. They're making me sad. Sad like Sad Brad. Sad Brad was one of our colonists in our very doomed RimWorld playthrough. I'm not really playing RimWorld right now. It's not that I don't like it anymore. I still think it's an excellent game and is very much worthy of attention. Um, and it's not, I'm not even bored of it, you know, I just don't have, I don't want to record it, I don't find it's that interesting to record, get a bomb, to do with it, um, so, it kind of makes me loathe to play it at all, probably going to be a stream jobby, uh, it's very good for stream because it has so much potential, 
support people. Oh, you're giving me a devil deal, though. Uh, for people to get involved. It's a bit like Dwarf Fortress in that respect. So we're going to keep ignoring those and hoping that we get Angel Deal at some point. This is the problem with trying to get these two items, I guess. You either find... Um, you either find Chaos and hope for the best. Or you try to get Angel Rooms and hope for the best. But... Like, the chance of Angel Rooms showing up at all... Combined with the chance of the items that we need showing up on the Angel Rooms. We've got Guppy's head, which is pretty nice. So that's a Guppy item, at least. So our only one. So far. I don't think this run needs Guppy. We haven't had a single damage upgrade. <laughs> Can't help but notice. Um, I pressed the space bar. But it was not available. Because I used it on the previous room. So that was my brain just not quite acknowledging what was happening. Could pay to go in there, but we might be able to find a secret room next to it. So I'm gonna see if there's a secret room before we try walking through the door, which hurts. Here. No. Now we need two bombs, but if there's a secret room here, it at least gives us. No, we're halfway there. There is a secret room here, so we don't need to pay to go into the curse room. And it did give us a bomb back and an eternal heart, which we can take straight away, I think. I don't really care to try and get any money out of anything that we can spend HP or money for, so the only reason this Eternal Heart would ever go away is if we found a Demon Judgment. Um, press, press, good, good, good. Question marks, which is not going to speed down, great. If I could find PhD, this would be the perfect um, run to use it on, because we've got so many downgrades that will become upgrades if we took PhD. Ooh, I see a Tinted Rock. In the rocks in tech. Bad trip. Brilliant. At least we know what it is. Uh, I'm just going to use a bomb. It's not going to reach it, but it's going to assist. Oh, God. Come on now. Just find another bomb, I guess. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's get another bomb. There's nothing in there. That's the uh, self sacrifice room. It could have hearts in it, actually, but I've left. So, what are you going to do? There's a bomb in here. Abomination. Right, that's our that's our it's, uh, that's our tinted rock gotten, and it could be small rock, which would be the first damage upgrade we've had. It isn't, but it's more HP. Honestly, it's only anything that won't die from one unicorn stumps worth of sack dagger. Oh, there is a thing. <laughs> Never mind. That we really have to be concerned about. Book of Secrets doesn't really help. We can't re-roll really it, which is a shame. We don't have a Perth Row rune even. But at least we know the map now. We're not quite fast enough for boss rush, which is a shame because we could have done it. Uh, but we don't have a way out of it. And I really don't fancy trying boss rush with unicorn stump and sack dagger. It's doable, but in those periods where you don't have unicorn stump sack dagger active, it's going to be a slog with this damage. That was only half the enemy. So just too big a room, I'm afraid. Careful. Our damage as we're Isaac is not that bad. Phone, calm yourself. If you're watching this, Jen, I'm not going to answer you. I'm playing a game. I'll get to you in good time. Um, don't don't be sad. <laughs> you know, knees must and all that. See, that was the entirety of a mega fighty fire, which would have been such a long time. Such a long, lonely, 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 lonely time. Um, had we had to use our abysmal tears. This is bad timing. Never mind. Very good. Now can we go through here, please? I have to wait for it to wear off before we shoot the poop. Ah, cruel irony of fate. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, let's fight. Now I'm going to the shop. Let's go to the shop. We're going to fight mom, but it would be behoove us. Behoof us. To fight the mom fight. Not a secret room. In that case, I don't really care to look for it because it could be any upgrade. Oh, well, press the button. Kill the greed. Battery charge? Yeah, but well, who cares? Uh, death? Well, that'll help. More than bad trip. 
which is full health, as we learned in the last episode, when you get down to no health. But again, I'm not really that bothered by it. We're just going to go in here, press the space bar, kill mom to death. Do as much damage as we can until it runs out because our tears have uh, nothing going for them. At least uh, tractor beam, you can see where it's shooting, right? Very good. We'll take this one, which I believe is the Polaroid, I hope. Uh, no no room. Like, we're not going to get an angel room. We can't force them, and I wish we could force them, because otherwise we're going to be here forever. But maybe we should just, like, make it a streak, and then, like, try and start a streak. And if we happen to get the items whilst doing a streak, so be it, right? And I prefer basically anything else. Range down. Question marks. Luck down. Oh, brilliant. So, which one of these enemies do we shoot? Which, which two of these enemies do we shoot? And which one do we use Sack Dagger on? I'm not going to use Sack Dagger against the one that is likely to uh, disappear while I'm trying to Sack Dagger it to death. So, we'll kill Loki the old fashioned way. Which takes apparently forever. But okay. And then. Oh, well done. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. Um, I was not expecting it to be quite so incumbent. These are shots that were about to miss Loki, now get to hit Loki. So, let me get Chubb. Yeah. So, we're gonna Chubb. We're gonna. Unicorn stuff to Chubb. Although, its death animation does seem to, uh... Ah, yeah, this is good at this. So now we do this. Break it apart a little bit. And we use the death card on the result. Die! And there's only a couple of these left. Yeah, that went okay. Um, I was obviously hoping for something a little bit better than what we did get. Out of those red chests, but... Well, we didn't get anything better than we did get out of those red chests, so... Suck it. You know, you can't win them all. Can't get in here either, apparently. I don't want to use my only bomb on it. Because I want to save that for a really awkward... Uh, yes. Pride is fine. I want to save my only bomb for a really awkward... Uh, tinted drop, which could really help me in an extraordinary way. Uh, pardon me. I definitely pressed the space bar, I'm just saying. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I got Curse of the Maze. I didn't expect that to produce that effect, interestingly. I don't know how to deal with this enemy. Just kill it. Have done with it. Right. We're back on track with Unicorn Stump. Got another bomb. <sighs> Curse of the Maze is really ruining me right now. Can I just reiterate we haven't had a single damage upgrade? in the entire game. So, I think I'm doing okay. We haven't even had the option of a damage upgrade. Curse of the Maze is really ruining me right now. We'll go in here in case it's like Steven or something, which would be a damage upgrade. And a considerable one, so definitely worth considering. Well, I mean, if it's considerable, it's basically by definition worth considering. So, uh, streamer, uh, I want to find a secret room. It could be here. It's not going to be here because I'm in the wrong room. Here. That's what I want to try. That's good enough. No. Okay. Okay. We will fight the good fight here. Terra Tomo. Do as much damage as we can with our sack dagger play. And we only have one left to beat. Good, good, good. Uh, please give me an angel room. I have requested one. I desire one. I have got one. Cat O Nine Tails. That's a damage upgrade. You know what? The wafer is actually something I'm very happy to take right now. Kind of tempted to go back to this curse room and see if we can get another upgrade. It's worth it, honestly. Um, we have to beat these rooms, but that's okay. Please stop having death animations. <laughs> get as much done as possible, I guess. Uh, yeah. Because now that we have the wafer, we're going to take half a heart of damage all the time. Obviously, now they're on the room, the room, the womb, 
all our damage is currently... Well, it wasn't until we took that. A full heart. Now all our damage is a half heart. Where's my uh, where's my spirit heart, by the way? Larry Jr. If that's your real name. We're going here for free. We won't get out for free, but it only cost half of what it normally would. Tears down. Speed down. Well, it's not worth it. Um, But we'll take our battery charge and go. Oh, hello. This has appeared here. Having this half a heart means we could try the self-sacrifice room gambit that we tried in the previous one, but I will wait till the cathedral to do that as well because we're guaranteed to go to the chest because we took the Polaroid. And provided we survive that long, we don't really have that much damage right now, which is a shame. But uh, the wafer will certainly increase our survivability. So maybe some what to compensate for the bad <laughs> poor damage that we're doing rather than taking. Normally we take bad damage, now we're doing bad damage. Second one? Come on, land! Right, good. Man, the unicorn stump could last longer. That's question marks. Don't... Okay. Try it. Start with me, pesto. So that's luck down. That's question marks. Speed up! Speed. Aha! A thing! That we care for. Uh, at least we're not on the scarred wound. What are we on? Yeah, just normal wound. This is passable. I can deal with normal wound. I want to go this way because I'm trying to find the, uh, the chest double key room down here. It could have something decent in it. Maybe a guppy item. Speed up. Don't mind. Speed. Having a bit of speed is really going to help with um, with with our Samson's chain. Should have just gone this way in the first place. Definitely press the space bar twice just now. Maybe my space bar needs a little bit more persuasion than I've been giving it. We can also get around that much faster so that we don't have to worry about the, um, the charge running out. I'm really interested in this. Yeah, I've got 99 coins, so there's really no point picking these up, but I'm doing it anyway. I think I'll take the world card down to the room. Street fair. Uh, probably the cathedral. Use it there. Uh, again, I don't want to use that just now. We could get something decent out of it, but I don't want to use all my HP, and because we don't know what our HP is, it's, it's that much more dangerous. I think is the point there. Not knowing what your HP is, and then doing something that involves spending it. It's kind of a recipe for disaster. It's not like we can keep going until we die, and then use a respawn, which would be great, actually, to have had a respawn on this run, but... The only really good one is Judas Shadow, and that's obviously a devil, a devil thing. The devil is in the details. We can go in here with a reasonable amount of confidence, and the fact that it has the mark in it, which is just a straight up damage upgrade, super helps. Not quite fast enough to be confident about that. We would have made it. I wasn't confident. Having these extra keys for the chest is my goal. We could use that um, boss trap room as uh, an indicator as to whether we have only one HP left. But uh, we can't really make good use of the self-sacrifice room for the simple reason that we can't get our HP back even if we spend it all anyway. The boss trap room will open when we have only one red HP left. Or one of any HP left. But we can't <laughs> refill our HP, so it's not that useful having an indicator unless we also have you know, an undoer. Which is what that bad trip pill would have been good for. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> they were all in the wrong place. Did you see that? It's alright. We're doing enough damage now that we don't have to worry about it. But every single one of them was sort of contra-rotation. It was out of phase with the rotation of my sack dagger. Very upsetting. Nearly at... Man, that voice. It sounds like someone's shouting at me. Judgment. Explode. Stuff. Got our bomb back too. Not really much use, unfortunately, for the key that we, uh, the golden key that we picked up. Fine, let's kill these. This, this is a terrible use of, uh, the unicorn stump. We didn't really get much play out of Sack Dagger, unfortunately. We could get some decent play here, though, with good timing, which I'm not going to have because the game hates me. Good. Please. This would be a great time to have, like, a death guard or something. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was a foregone conclusion. 
this one on this stage. Slowing mom's heart is actually more trouble than it's worth usually. No angel room. So we will go. If we can find a self-sacrifice room on this floor, I will use it. We do know our, hey, we do know our HP. There is no self-sacrifice room on this floor, but I will go to this mob trap room. So I can get in it. Could have something worth doing. Slightly unlikely. Reasonably unlikely, in fact. Sack Dagger suddenly feels like it's not as good as I thought it was. In fact, we'll take the world card so that we can see what we're doing. Uh, yeah. Justice is just stuff. Uh, that's no good. I know I said that we could do with a respawn. Probably not that one. Let's use the cursed room too. Been good to us recently. Recently, that's actually a. Uh, I don't want either of those. We'll take bad trip. Whoa. Okay. Not too useful at this stage of the game, but whatever. I'll just take a bit of it. Um, that was actually a, a net gain of HP because we have the wafer. I am going the wrong way. Because I thought that this was a boss room. It is, in fact, a mini boss room. Probably should have just been using the correct tactic of running into the enemy as whilst invincible, but I forgot. Okay? I forgot. Leave me alone. What did I pick up just now? Bomb, maybe. Uh, probably don't need to do this room. Whoa, look at that guy! <laughs> He's so cute. Bombs are probably going to be helpful, especially if we can get a decent bomb synergy out of the chest. Yeah, we need to do one of those two rooms, so I'm not too upset. And you are also not going to last very long. Okay, neither am I. Try and keep your sack dagger behind you so that when shit hits the fan, it actually hits the dagger. Okay, doing alright. Taking a little bit more damage than is necessary, but not so much that it's a problem. Oh, it's you. You ruined my deal with the devil early on. Because I was trying to use exactly the same tactic without the invincibility. It doesn't work, by the way. These rooms. We could bomb our way through them. It feels a bit cheap. Not actually that necessary to do so, because we're doing okay. We've actually picked up some damage upgrades for the first time in our natural born lives. And therefore, we can apparently kill these enemies before we end said natural born lives from said natural you know, processes. Oi, Gavolt. Or we could just leave this room and never speak of it again. We've nearly done it and we could get something out of it. Everything is shooting this and it's still not dead. There we go. Just bombs. Which I know I said would probably be useful at some point, but not that enthused. Oh, now we can fly. That freaking time, just as any single possible reason to be able to fly leaves the game. Apart from creep. Okay, fair enough. We can now ignore creep, which actually is more trouble, uh, more useful than it sounds like it should be. Because lots of enemies, what are bosses, create creep. Right, it'd be great to have battery bays or something like that. Unfortunately, we did not find our self-sacrifice room on this floor. But we also didn't find our bad trip hill until this floor, so... You know, you win some, you lose some. We're at least going to win. By, you know, all estimations anyway. By even the most conservative estimations, we're likely to win this. I don't deserve to have not been hit there, but I did have my ball and chain in the right place. So... I guess I did deserve to not be hit there. I did deserve to be hit there because I completely misread the trajectory of those shots. But the main problem I'm having right now is the fact that Isaac is still going after these, these things. Wow, so that just is a good indication of how little damage we're actually doing because it's so possible to just blast Isaac out of the park at that stage. And we did not. Not that great, not pretty great, not that great, not that great. Uh, I very much wish we could re-roll these. But we cannot. Crack the Sky is pretty decent now. Uh, but that only seems to be because it actually, apparently, has an effect. I mean, it seems like it now targets enemies with the like, beams of light that come down, so I think that's probably why it seems to have improved. Oh, hello, we've got Curse of the Maze, have we? Probably should have noticed, but 
The curses are not actually sort of made clear on the map. It's interesting. You have to hold down the... Yeah, we'll take Mongo, baby. Let me through. No. I'm pretty sure I want to go this way. I mean, I know my mind. I li literally do want to go this way. Whether it's correct for me to want to go this way is something I'm also reasonably confident of. Well, I mean, that's a bit of a truthism, isn't it? Because if I were not even a little bit confident that I wanted to go this way in order to achieve my goal, I wouldn't want to go this way, you know, just from an epistemological standpoint. Which I do. So, should be fairly clear to you, game. But the reason I wish to go this way is because I wish to go this way. Is in and of itself, you know, it's, it's its own justification. Honestly, did not think that we were going to have any trouble beating that enemy before Locus, uh, Locus Horns. Um, well, the Unicorns don't run out, but how wrong can you be, I guess? Our tiers now are pretty good, so we don't need to worry about having to finish enemies off. Or indeed, beat an entire enemy just by shooting them, which is basically how the game works, so we shouldn't be surprised that that's what we have to do. Maybe we should have taken the HP. We'll take the uh, battery charge, apparently. I'm still intending to go this way, game, whether you want me to or not. It's reasonably easy. There's our quarter. That's what we wanted at the start of the game, but we'll take it now. Can't re-roll it after all. Quite lots of uh, super... Super sin. Super cyan sins. Interestingly. And this is a very annoying room to... Fucks up using this on. It's alright, we can beat him. And if you can't beat him... You die. Ah, you thought I was going to say join him. Hello! Thanks for joining me, you fucking bitch. Suddenly behind me. What an asshole. We can fly. You can fly too. Trying to do damage to Sack Dagger just to get this done so that we don't take all the damage in the world. Don't forget, we do have, um... Eek. We do have the Wafer, so... We've basically got 12 hits in us. If we can't beat... We don't need that. If we can't beat uh, Blue Baby with Sack Dagger, a reasonable period of invincibility that has already done more than half its health, and all these hits available in us, then we don't deserve to win. Which we did. Win streak of one, baby. So, what do you think? Should we do a streak now? I'm thinking I'll start a streak. Maybe we'll go uh, in sequence. You know, Maggie next, then Kane. We'll probably skip the Lost and Keeper because I am a little wuss and I don't think those things are really going to contribute to a uh, streak. But we will try and do Eden as often as everybody else because an Eden run. It's interesting. What I also don't know is if you start an Eden run, can you get items that you have not yet picked up? Because in that case, we could end up accidentally starting the Eden run with Godhead or Crown of Light. But we'll see. In the future, we will try and get more wins with more more uh, characters that we don't often play. But until then, thank you for watching this episode, and I hope that you will join me for the next.